Hello students, I am Dr. Devjani Sharkar Ghosh, Head and Associate Professor, Department of Geography, Patnamens College Autonomous. Today we will discuss one of the prime theories of population which is known as demographic transition theory. The process of change in society's population is called demographic transition. The word demographic transition was first coined by W. S. Thompson in the year 1929 and the theory was later propounded by Frank Nutstein in the year 1945. It is a general description of birth rate, death rate and growth rate as society moves from one demographic regime to another. Its focus is on modern population movement in broad terms on major regions of the world. The theory describes the pattern of the population change experienced historically by now developed countries of Europe, North America and Asia. The theory is based on the data from western countries which experienced a transition in demography from the stages of high birth rate, high death rate to the stages of low birth rate and low death rate and declining population. Figure 1 shows demographic transition model. The model shows changes in the crude birth rate in blue color and crude death rate in red color and consequent growth rate of population in black color in y axis and time, the passage of time in x axis. The theory also portrays the relationship between economic development and population growth. Let us discuss each stage separately. First stage is also known as pre-development stage. It is the longest stage in this stage. Both birth rate and death rate are high. Both rates fluctuate, especially the death rate. Growth rate is quite slow. Population remains stationary in this stage. Birth rate is high as a result of lack of family planning, religious belief, high infant mortality rate and need for workers in intensive subsistence agriculture. This stage does not exist as in most backward countries also birth rate has reduced. Next stage or the stage 2 is also known as early expanding stage. In this stage birth rate continues to be high. Death rate reduced due to advances in medical science like smallpox vaccine, improved hygiene and sanitation, improved food production and storage, improved transport of the food, decreased infant mortality rate, etc. In natural increase is high. This stage experiences maximum growth in population. Migration is insignificant in this stage. Land for agriculture is permanent. Farming is intensive. Africa, some southern and southeast Asian and few Latin American countries are in this stage. Third stage is also known as stage of declining birth rate and low death rate. In this stage, death rate continues to decline at slow pace. Birth rate started to fall. Rate of natural increase reduces than stage 2. Infant mortality rate declines. The need to have many children declines. With urbanization, cost of living increases, people opt for small family norm to maintain high standard of living. Increased mechanization reduces the need for workers. Some countries of Southeast Asia like India, many South American countries, Eastern Europe, China are at this stage. Last stage or the stage 4 is known as stage of stable population. In this stage, birth rate is low, death rate is also low. Natural growth rate is insignificant. It is also known as zero population growth rate. These countries are highly urbanized. Economic system is mature and sophisticated. Denmark, Hungary, Japan, France, Germany are in this stage. Let us discuss what happened in India. The figure shows both birth rate, death rate, natural rate of increase in y axis and time in x axis. Both birth rate and death rate was high till 1921 which is the stage 1 of demographic transition. After that, death rate started falling, but birth rate was still high. As a result, growth rate was high. This second stage of demographic transition is important, but it was the year of also known as population boom. But from 1981 onwards, growth rate started falling, which indicate that India has entered third stage of demographic transition. Now let us check the critical analysis of the theory. The theory is based on the empirical observation as experienced in Europe, America and Australia. Sequences of stages are not uniform. 
in some East and South American countries, the fertility rate declined even when mortality rates were high. But in America, growth rate of population was higher compared to the European countries. Birth rate did not decline in urban areas initially as well as explanation in decline in birth rate varies. The role of man's technical innovation was ignored in this theory. Further, it does not provide a time frame for a country to move from one stage to another. It does not hold good for developing countries of the world which have experienced unprecedented growth in population due to decline in death rate. But there are some strength of the theory. Despite the shortcomings, the theory is equally applicable to developed and developing countries. It is frequently accepted as a useful tool in describing demographic history of the country. India has entered third stage of the demographic transition due to better medical facilities and family welfare measures of the government. Based on this theory, the economist had developed economic demographic transition model. Despite the shortcomings, the theory has universal acceptability and we still study this theory as one of the prime theories of population geography. Thank you.